Do you know anyone that loves doing dishes? Because I don't. There is nothing better than being able to prepare your meal all in one pan. Beautiful kitchen and you're ready to sit. I've made three fabulous meals today. I've made salmon with lentils and spinach. I've made raspberry chicken on a beautiful bed of cauliflower mash. And I've made an incredible beet, goat cheese, and kale pizza that is ready for a wonderful lunch or dinner. Pat dry your salmon. And I'm gonna season it, season it with a little bit of salt and pepper on both sides. The salmon is pretty thin. You're not gonna have to cook it for very long. After about three minutes, we're ready to give it a flip. Now I sprayed the pan with the salmon. You could use a little bit of olive oil if you're looking, if you don't mind the extra fat. Um, as well here, I am going to just use a bit of stock as opposed to doing the olive oil. I'm just gonna let that soften. After about five or six minutes, your onions will be nice and soft with the garlic and we're ready to put in the lentils, the spinach, some Dijon, and our spice or our herb. Today, I'm gonna use thyme, fresh thyme, because I have it. If you have rosemary, that's fine, or dried is also totally fine. So I'm gonna add my lentils, got about, oh, maybe a cup and a half of chopped spinach. If you have fresh, that's also fine. But one and a half tablespoons of Dijon. My one cup of vegetable or chicken stock. Got my fresh thyme. One tablespoon. I'll add another little bit of salt, some fresh pepper. I'm just gonna let that reduce a little bit. And there we go. One meal ready to eat. All right, we're ready to start the raspberry chicken. And just as a little aside, this has always been one of my kids' favorite things to have. I have to confess that when they had it, it was not with the cauliflower rice. I used to make a really nice coconut rice. But today, we're gonna to be a little bit more macro-friendly, so we're gonna go with the cauliflower rice. And here, if you have fresh cauliflower, I didn't, so I used these. Um, and these are really good macros. There's not even like 80 calories in each one of these, so it'll kind of be per serving. I'm gonna do you know, about a tablespoon of olive oil. I've got two chicken breasts. If you have really fat ones, flatten them down with your hand first so they're gonna cook a little bit more evenly. And I'm gonna par cook those and again remove them from the pan. After four or five minutes, we flip them to the other side. We'll leave them here for about another four minutes and then we're gonna remove them from the pan. So we're gonna remove that, set aside. I'm gonna add a tiny bit more olive oil. And I'm gonna add my sliced onion. Two cloves of garlic. Now don't worry about all these brown bits on the bottom of your pan because those are gonna come off when we add our raspberry vinegar. I've got a quarter of a cup of raspberry vinegar. And that's gonna deglaze our pan. That smells so good. Now we're gonna let that boil down a little bit. It's gonna get like a little bit syrupy, which is what we want. Now, is I'm gonna add a half a cup of evaporated milk, not sweetened condensed milk. Now this is a lot less calories and fat than whipping cream. A tablespoon of, a good tablespoon of tomato paste. A little bit of salt and pepper. And 
And because I like it a little saucier, I'm going to come in with about a half a cup of vegetable or chicken stock. I'm going to add about maybe a half a cup of fresh raspberries. And I've saved some fresh ones that won't be in the sauce. I saved those for the garnish. Back in now with my chicken. Just gonna let the chicken basically cook through, not told, not overdone at all. And then I'm gonna remove that, put my heat through my cauliflower rice, put it back on top. Finished. I'm gonna remove my chicken from the pan. Just need to heat that through. I'm gonna add that back on top. And here it comes. All right, so we heated through our cauliflower rice. We're gonna just put our chicken back on top. We're gonna cover with our sauce. I'm gonna top that. We've got some fresh parsley. Nice red raspberries. Top. Here we are, one pan raspberry chicken. And I can't even tell you how many times all three of my kids ask for this. It is a winner of a recipe. And I urge you to give this one a try. The last thing we're gonna make today is a beet and goat cheese pizza. And this is amazing. Many of you have seen that I love these protein up wraps. 130 calories, 10 grams of protein. I've seen use them a lot on my channel. That is gonna be our crust today. I've got an entire sheet pan with four of these wraps on the bottom. I am going to, because I'm a stickler and I like things to be on the crispy side, I'm gonna put this in a 400 degree oven on one side, flip it over before I start adding my toppings. So in the oven for about five minutes. For this recipe, you can either use tin beets that you drain, or I have fresh beets, which I roasted and sliced. I've got red onion sliced, I've got some kale, and I've chopped it finer than what is in the bag, and I also took out the hard stems. I want to use some sun-dried tomatoes. These ones are packed in oil. I actually rinsed them and patted them dry just to avoid that excess oil. We're going to use some uh, skim milk mozzarella and some goat cheese. I'm gonna start with a light sprinkling of the mozzarella along the bottom because I want my kale to stick to my crusts. I think I'm really hoping that Will and Katie show up for dinner tonight because there was a lot of food for Paul and I. I'm gonna go in now with my red onion. Nice thin slices. And I've got my sun-dried tomato. And now comes our beets that are kind of looking like a little bit like pepperoni. A little bit more mozzarella. We've got our goat cheese, which we're gonna crumble all across the top. Okay, into the oven, I've got it at 400. Okay, after about 12 minutes, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put it up to the broiler, probably just for another two minutes, just to really melt down that goat cheese. And here we have our beet goat cheese and kale pizza. And this is gonna be a lot of pizza for me to eat because Paul does not even like beets. Fortunately, I love them. This seems like a lot of food for Paul and I. I don't know. Oh, I actually think I hear the door. 
Oh, we might be saved. I think Will and Katie are here. So I was worried about too much food. Was it telepathy that you knew that I was making raspberry chicken? I'm excited for that. Yeah. You've always been excited yeah. for that. Yeah. Oh my God, the smell is bringing me back. Great. Right. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're all going to dig in. So if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. That's my outro. Is that your outro? Yeah. Oh, well, it worked for you. Thank <laughs> you.